Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Chris J, and after scouring the internet, I found some info on Left 4 Dead 3, hopefully. Now, this article is done by express.co.uk, and I honestly have no idea how reputable they are, or if they've been right in the past. Who knows? So basically, after reading through their article, they have basically said that the the new installment of Left 4 Dead 3 supposedly has a rumored date for 2017. Again, that wouldn't be too surprising. After Source 2 came out, they were starting to get their development teams together, working on VR experiences, wanting to get some multiplayer games, single player games ready. So 2017 does make a lot of sense for them to be releasing Left 4 Dead 3. Now, they've apparently already named all of the characters and even have put down the six campaign maps. So again, this is all speculation and this is all based on an article that I have found. I know that there wasn't too many articles that actually had this information. So fingers crossed this shit's actually correct. Uh, but basically, the sole female character is actually just known as Catherine, and there are three other characters, uh, both, all, sorry, all three of them are male, uh, which include a gangster named Irvin, a comic book nerd named Keenan, and a famous Kenpo fighter named Garrett Jr. So, <laughs> I mean, they're definitely doing what they like to do best, which is put a bunch of, well, put four people who literally have nothing in common together to make a very interesting narrative between the game. So that would make sense, because none of them seem to be connected in any single way. I don't know what Catherine does. Uh, she is just simply known as Catherine, whereas everybody else has, like, a little bit of description for them, like Gangster Irvin, comic book nerd Keenan, and famous Kembo fighter Garrett Jr. So, again, all three of these being combined, oh, sorry, all four of them being com combined makes sense, because if you look at the previous titles, it was four random people put together with weird personalities that really added some contrast to it, so that would make sense. And uh, they have also reported that there will be six separate campaigns to play on Left 4 Dead 3. Um, and the maps that they have put here include an old favorite, No Mercy, uh, Cliffhanger, Early Destination, Crashland, Impasse, and Inquisitorland. So basically that is what they have written here. And if that is true, that is going to be pretty cool. Um, so hopefully if they are right about a 2017 release date, that'll be fucking impressive. But I'm surprised that nobody else has this information, which is why I'm a little bit skeptical. Now, I know some people could have other information. I just re researched for about like 10, 15 minutes. And this was the only thing I found that actually had names, maps, even a release date possibly. Um, but yeah, basically uh, they are saying since the Half-Life 3 had been put on hold, they made Left 4 Dead a priority, which means that we could be fighting with the undead pretty fucking soon. Now, if there was any pictures or anything, I would totally pl uh, put them up on here, but sadly there isn't. But this is actually making me super excited because if Left 4 Dead 3 comes out, I will definitely be getting it on PC. Why? Because mods are huge for Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead 2, I played with a fuck ton of mods. And if you want to get a really good Left 4 Dead experience, get it on Steam. Because there will be new maps, new characters, new fucking designs and skins for everybody. It's great because the community is fucking creative. And that is what I love most about Valve. They're like, nope, go ahead, make, make your shit. Do it. Add it to the game. Awesome, you make our game even more replayable. But yeah, I know it's going to be a little bit difficult for people on console like Xbox One and PS4 if it does get released for that, which it probably will because it has in the past, because they only get to experience what comes with the game. They don't get to experience what the people create for the game. But uh, yeah, if this is true, if, like keep in mind, uh, this is all that I found, it could be completely fucking false. But uh, that's up to you guys to decide if it's true or not. If the game comes out and this shit is correct, I'm going to trust express.co.uk a whole lot more often. Um, I should leave you a link to the article in the description down below. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed this is all correct. Because if it is, at some point this year, we'll be getting Left 4 Dead 3. Fingers crossed. Anyways, guys, I hope you're excited for a good zombie year like I am. I'm hoping Dead Island 2 is going to come out. I'm hoping State of Decay is going to come out just fine. And I'm hoping Dying Light gets something. I'm hoping they even just announce it. Even the announcement would just be great. Um, but yeah, so much to look forward to. So many things to speculate about. And so many things to be a huge fan about. But anyways, guys, love you. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. It's free. Why not? And join the Classless Cavalry. Anyways, guys, love you. Love your faces. Bye-bye.